Hello, A12. Uh, as we have done this, use tangent and chord properties. Uh, in the last lesson, I'm just going over it. What is tangent is and what is chord is. So we have discussed this in the last lesson. So tangent is touching the circle here and it touches at one point of the circle. And radius always make 90 degree angle with the help of tangent. Yeah, you can see here, this is 90 degree angle. Radius is making, okay? Now, similarly, chord, chord is passing and connecting two points on the circumference, okay? It can be diameter, and as I mentioned you, diameter can be the longest chord of the circle. So this is center of the chord, and this is radius, yeah, from this point to this point, yeah? So uh, let me draw it, yeah? So this will be, and this is, uh, this is radius from this point to this point, okay and this is chord that blue line okay radius divides the chord into two equal part here yeah? so this this part this blue part and this um, blue part they should be equal yeah so radius divides the chord into two equal part today we are going to learn about second as well a straight line which cuts the curve into two or more parts known as second here yeah? so if you see in this diagram this yellow part here yeah, this yellow part is called second okay and this is called external second segment here yeah? and if it is part of tangent see this line is passing through the circle q and r it is going inside the circle and this tangent is touching the circle and it is exterior point p so this blue line is called tangent segment because it is touching here it is not going inside the circle and this is called external second segment okay so a straight line which cuts curve two or more parts is known as second so here second is pr okay so this pr is second yeah uh, pr is drawn at qr intersects the circle as shown the upper diagram okay and we can give you formula this is just for your uh, extra thing this is the formula we can use that is uh, pr divided by ps equal to ps divided by pq okay this formula we can use here so <coughs> so uh, if you see PR that is full length so I have taken here full length PR from here full length PR so that is PR then PS this is PS okay and uh, PS again and divided by PQ so this formula we can use when external second segment and tangent segment is given here yeah? so it is just for your extra knowledge it is your extent part here yeah? so just remember it you might use somewhere okay and if you multiply this ps times ps then it will be ps square equal to if you multiply this and if you multiply this then ps square equal to pr times pq okay so this is what i have written here as well now one more thing i need to tell you properties of tangent it is a recap what we did in the last lesson so properties of tangent the tangent line the tangent line never crosses the circle it just touches the circle so remember this is our tangent and this is not tangent okay so it always touches the circle at the point of tangency it is perpendicular to radius so this is called point of tangency okay so this is called point of tangency here and this point is always perpendicular to the radius okay now a chord so this this point is also called at the point of tangency it is perpendicular to the radius a chord and tangent form an angle and this angle same as that of the tangent inscribed on the opposite side of the chord okay so chord and tangent and 
from the same external point the tangent segments to a circle are equal so this we can understand here yeah if you see this diagram okay so this is exterior point from exterior point if we draw two tangents so these are two tangents we have drawn this yellow one and this yellow one so tangents drawn from exterior points to a given circle are always equal so what i mean to say that here tangent ac equal to bc this is relationship question comes how so then we will use gcsc similarities yeah so if you see this is triangle one and this is triangle two this is common line the 190 there 190 here these two are the radius so these two triangles are similar yeah uh, by side angle side property so once triangles are similar and congruent then rest of the parts of the triangles are always equal so that is called congruent part of congruent triangle yeah so ac equal to bc so we are not going in a detail this we have done in gcse so tangents drawn from an exterior points to a given circle are always equal okay so now if you see there is a question here the circle c has equation x square plus 18x plus y square minus 2y plus 29 equal to 0 okay verify that the point p minus 7 minus 6 lie on circle okay this is your first part so how you are going to verify this please pause the video and have a go welcome back if you have tried so now i'm going to solve this question and you can check your working against my working yeah so our equation of circle is let's write down here x square plus 18x plus y square minus 2y plus 29 equal to 0 okay so we need to verify this point here so point is minus 7 and minus 6 so any idea guys what we can do to verify this Maninder, you have any question to say are you in the class okay so that's right okay so if we put replace x with minus 7 and y with minus 6 okay let's see what is happening if we replace x with minus 7 that is minus 7 is square plus 18 and minus 7 and y is minus 6 is square minus 2 y is again minus 6 and plus 29 if you simplify and it is coming equal to 0 then they will be part so here it will be 49 and this will be minus 126 this will be 36 this will be 12 and this is 29 equal to 0 okay if you add them then you get 0 equal to 0 which shows that so uh, this is what we have done now if we go for b part right so b part is let me scroll up so find the equation of a circle find the equation of a circle this will be but find the equation for a tangent sorry not circle to c so we need to find the equation of this r l yeah giving your answer in the form of y equal to mx plus b so we need to find this equation of tangent so this is what will be equation of this tangent okay so what we need to do first whenever you get this type of equation try to make uh, completing the square so our equation is mm, this one yeah so b part so x square plus 18x okay and plus y square minus 2y plus 29 equal to 0 if you do completing the square then it will be turning if you take these terms into consideration so it will be x plus 9 whole square okay yes uh, and uh, this one if you take into consideration that is y minus 1 whole square and uh, this one will be if you take that set so it should be equal to 53 so this will be our equation of a circle 
okay now if you change these points like plus 9 to minus 9 minus 9 to 1 so we can get the center of a circle here because if you compare it x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r square so minus h equal to 9 so h is minus 9 where h and k are center of a circle okay so h is minus 9 similarly uh, minus k equal to minus 1 so k is 1 so we have got center of a circle that is minus 9 and 1 okay once you got the center of a circle and you have point p here you have point P here that is minus 7 minus 6. So equation of a line passing through one point is given by y minus y1 equal to m x minus x1. Okay. Point is there. Okay. We don't have gradient. Right. So how we can find gradient. So see it's very easy. So if you have center, center is minus 9 and 1 and there is a there is a another point here. Uh, that point is uh, let me see minus 7 and minus 6 here yeah? so we can find the gradient this point is minus 7 and minus 6 and we can find gradient of this line this is point p and this is o so gradient that is m of op means gradient of op line here yeah? or you can see cp line if center is c so it is y2 minus y1 that is minus 6 minus 1 and minus 7 plus 9 so it will be minus 7 over 2 we have gradient now we have points now so equation of a line is given by y minus y1 equal to m x minus x1 okay so it is y minus y1 is minus 6 here so it will be plus 6 m is minus 7 over 2 and x1 is minus 7 that is x plus 7 okay so it will be if you multiply 2 with y plus 6 so it will be 2y plus 12 and it is uh, uh, minus 7 here yeah? sorry gradient is uh, minus 7 over 2 and we need to flip it sorry because we have found gradient okay let me rub this little bit so that i can explain you from the beginning yeah okay So if you see C part, find the coordinates of R, the point of intersection of the tangent and the y axis. Okay. So see here, we need to find of this point here. Yeah? So how we are going to do that? Let's have a look. So find the coordinates of point R and the point of intersection of the tangent at the y axis. Okay. So let's scroll down. So for C part is sorry about that so so for c part it is tangent intersect at y axis so it will be x equal to 0 hmm? because tangent is intersecting at y axis intersecting at y axis so x equal to 0 if you put x equal to 0 in this equation then we get minus 7y minus 28 equal to 0 so it will be minus 7y equal to 28 and y we got minus 4 okay so point of r will be 0 x is 0 and y is minus 4 okay now d part is okay let's see what d part is saying 
okay so d part is saying yeah so find the area of triangle apr okay so triangle apr so we need to find a p and r so base time side we know these coordinates we know this distance and we know this distance so area is 1 by 2 base time side we just need to find this distance pr okay so let's find okay so distance distance pr will be so distance pr we can find uh, by using distance formula okay so it will be minus 7 and minus 0 is square plus minus 6 minus and minus 4 is square okay so once we solve that so it will be 7 is square is 49 minus 6 plus 2 that is 2 is square that is 4 so 49 plus 4 that is root 53 yeah so area is base times height half base times height so base is root 53 and height is also root 53 okay so it will be root 53 times root 53 that is 53 divided by 2 that is 26.5 unit square yeah okay this is what we we have done you can check your working against my working okay now next question is the point r and s lie on the circle okay so if you see r and s they have coordinates 2 and 3 and 10 and 1 the point r coordinates uh, 2 3 and s point coordinate is 10 and 1 m is the midpoint okay so immediately you can find the midpoint so, so this midpoint is given by 2 plus 10 that is 12 12 divided by 2 that is 6 3 plus 1 4 4 divided by 2 that is 2 so midpoint is 6 and 2 the line l passes through m and c okay so this is m point and this is c point so it is passing to the center find the equation of line l okay so give it a try and see how you are going to do that you can pause the video and have a go okay welcome back if you have okay so it will be minus 160 okay x equal to 34 so if we collect all the x terms together from here so we get 17 x square minus 17x square minus 170x plus 391 equal to 0. If we divide by 17, so it will be x square minus 10x plus 23 equal to 0. And using quadratic formula, so if you use quadratic formula, minus b plus minus, so it will be 10 plus minus b square, that is 100 minus 4ac minus 92 over 2a that is 2 so we got it here x equal to 10 plus minus root 8 over 2 okay this we can write down 5 plus minus root 2 okay so you can find when x is 5 plus root 2 what is y so you can plug in the value in y equal to 4x minus 22 here so so y is coming minus 2 plus 4 root 2 
so I have put the values here X and Y okay these will be your coordinates yeah so question was lengthy I hope you have enjoyed the video so we'll stop here and uh, you can complete this exercise 6e in your homework I'll put homework on show my homework thank you very much thanks for watching